So this is the uh, completed project. Um, as you can see, it's all nicely put together um, between these two, the main and the sub panel. Uh, all the circuits breakers are now labeled uh, from A to J. So we have 10 of them. They basically cover our most important, the water pumps, septic, freezer, refrigerator, the furnace, uh, the kitchen, uh, some basement and water conditioning, and then more uh, septic alarms and controls. So one of the things you'll notice that is not on here is the AC. The This type of hookup doesn't really leave a lot of room. In, you know, I mean, in fact, you're just limited to 10 appliances. And there's some question whether our generator, which is 95 100 watts could handle an AC which typically runs between 2500 to 3000 watts so it would take up about a third of all the power available and if there are spikes as they occasionally happen you know it could just blow up our generator so uh, the likelihood of us hooking up the AC is pretty slim unless there was a way that we can hook up the 30 amp plug uh, put in an inlet plug that's only for the AC and run only the AC which I think is possible but I have no clue no idea on what it takes to do that so this is what we have one thing I did learn um, no, I, I couldn't hook this up myself that's for sure because there's things that, because I'm not trained, I don't really know. For instance, this is, is what you call a two pole, A and B, they go together. And in your circuit breaker, you'll notice that some have these two poles. Uh, they can't be separated, which I thought I could do here, but you, you really can't. So that's something an electrician would know. I would not have known that. Um, and you know, I got basically four quotes uh, from four different electricians and ranging from 200 bucks to $500. I didn't go the cheapest or the highest. I went right kind of in the middle. So that's what you could expect an electrician to charge, but it's really worth every penny. For the shed itself, I did make some changes. Um, I did go and put on um, rolling shingles and I did have to do a couple of things um, and I learned quickly that I remember I used I had a box fan uh, and that wasn't gonna work um, the this generator when I was when I ran it it's 84 now but when I ran it it went up as high as 140 degrees so it was really really hot uh, so that means I had to move the inlet box to where it was cooler, which is the opposite end of the exhaust system. So that's the first thing I did. The, the fan that I had, which was a regular old box fan, it basically uh, melted. <laughs> and it burned out. The engine burned out within one use, which is like about a day. So I threw it in the trash and because the exhaust came out, it was so hot that there was like a three inch uh, hole that it created because it, was, it just wasn't going to withstand anything. So if I'm going, if I'm going to run this, um, I have to keep all the doors open. Uh, and that's the only way really to cool this down unless I put, you know, a gable fan or an attic fan in here, which... I may do eventually, uh, but at this point, uh, when I opened all the windows, it came back down to, you know, about 100, uh, 110, so I think it was running fine. And I also will need to put, I don't have any yet, uh, but mouse traps, because uh, I did notice some mouse droppings in here. Uh, they actually do really like a little enclosure like this. And I don't know if you can see this, but I did put some tinfoil tape uh, because this bar gets really, really hot. 
uh, and I didn't really know what it would do to the wire, but I thought I protected a little bit better from the heat, uh, and so far seems to be holding up okay. Oh, and yes, um, I did go back and reburied the wires. The grass is starting to come back now. But you do need to go down about three feet. I didn't go quite as far as three feet, um, but it was, you know, maybe two because our frost line is 18 inches, so I had to go below that. But I did go and, and rebury uh, the, the wire uh, into the house. So that's basically the project, and it took about a month to do. It'd be kind of interesting if I list out how much this thing cost me. I think roughly the generator is about $1,000, and I think this shed would, was, you know, the wood, again, was free. Uh, not free, but it was old wood that I um, got from the, the decking project. But all the hardware um, and uh, the wiring, I would say probably another 300 bucks. Um, so, yeah, a thousand dollars plus 300, and if you can get your hands on old wood, otherwise, I'm not sure how much all this wood would cost. Um, maybe $80, I'm guessing. But yeah, so that's my project. Uh, that's my COVID project for this year.